Hey everyone, today I, I will be reviewing um, Earthrise Punch Counter Punch. And uh, this guy is a uh, repaint of the um, Power of the Primes, I think. Punch Counter Punch, and I need a plug in my phone. There we go. Um, yeah, this guy is basically just a repaint. Comes with the same gun and everything. But, uh, this guy is based on the, uh, Acura NSX, I think. And, oh my god, this is so annoying. I don't know how to fix that. But when I do, this is just... Yeah, this guy has not aged well at all. But I mostly just got this guy. Got this pack for, um, Earthrise Barricade. I'm not going to sell this guy off, though. I kind of like him, but... Yeah, there's nothing much about him. He's blue and yellow and looks like an MSX, and you can see the fake window in there. Basically, just all of this is his legs. Like, 80% of his vehicle mode is his legs. And the rest of it just goes inside him and becomes his shoulder pads. I mean, that's basically it for that. For a uh, field mode comparison... Jeez, I smacked this guy off my fan. But age, of, age, age of Extinction Bumblebee. SS86 Hot Rod. Uh, my, uh, previous review, I think. Velocitron Cosmos. Kingdom Huffer, for no real reason. He was just in vehicle mode on my shelf. And... Studio Series Dino, who will most likely be my next review. And Earthrise Barricade. In view of his gun only goes in one place right here. Uh, now let's get down to transformation. So, what you want to do is open. Damn it, open it. I just realized I use... I uh, unintentionally used a uh, Transformers the movie line. I just realized that now, but... Just want to open these, and then... Flip out his legs, and you can see what I mean. Like, most of the car is his legs. Then you just want to flip these down, flip these up, and then... Do that. Same thing for the other leg. Let me raise the camera. More. If you're earning when I'm watching a jobby. But I'm being blinded by the sun. Uh, just disconnect these. Flip these down. But what I like to do is keep... I just like to keep these like this. It, it looks much better than just having the shoulder pad like, like that. So you just want to do the same for this side. go. Then you want to open this, flip this in, do the same, flip it in, do that like that, and uh, there's his robot mode. Uh, articulation, his arm can go out that far, but if you do this, you can go even further. Low leg, go out that far, go 
He is up that far and back that far. His knee is can go uh, back that far and um, do that. Uh, head can look up that far, look down, basically not at all. Head swivel and surprisingly waist swivel. Oh my gosh, this is so tight. And his legs are really wobbly. Uh, he can hold his gun. Like a good double agent should. Uh, and he has a this guy is probably one of, if not the most unique transformer out there because he is two robots in one. So what you want to do is flip out these hands, flip this down, turn them over, and then flip this up. And there's Counter Punch. Oh, right. Flip it, the Decepticon symbol. He is a double agent for the Autobots, and he is uh, pretty cool. I actually like this guy, even though I just got this pack for the barricade. But, uh, now let me pause this for the uh, robot mode comparisons. And for some comparisons, here is Age of Extinction Bumblebee. Studio Series Dino uh, Studio Series Hot Rod uh, Earthrise Barricade Kingdom Huffer Legacy Velocitron Cosmos and some random thing I made out of Lego. I I just made this thing because I was bored. <laughs> But, um, yeah, this guy is alright. I mean, he's loose, stuff doesn't like to tab in, he has that weird thing in the back. And I did a uh, poll on Reddit, and most people said to bring the rating system back. So, from 1 to 10, I'd give this guy... Hmm, around a five, maybe. He's okay, he's not the best. He's based on an older mode, mold, so. The age kind of caught up with him. But, yeah, that has been my review for the Earthrise uh, Punch Counterpunch. See you on my next review.